Well, good afternoon. I can't even say good morning because it's good afternoon. I didn't get my walk in this morning. We've had too much excitement today. But before we get to the excitement, it's somebody's birthday today. And if it's somebody's birthday, it goes without saying. There's a song that's attached to that birthday. And this is going out to Steve, who's Anita Johnson, Chit Chat, no longer Patty Whack, her husband. It's his birthday today, and they went to Disneyland. Yeah, Disneyland, because they live in California. But he still gets a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Steve. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Hope you have a great day. Um, my day not so great so far. <laughs> Uh, like I told you, Jim's gone vacation. I told you he was in Montana. Oh, no. He's in South Dakota. Last year he went to Montana. This year he went to South Dakota. But anyway, um, I had Alyssa. I got Alyssa really early this morning. And uh, her and Kylie were in the pool swimming. And when they got out, they turned the filter back on. Well, when I got up this morning, I turned my filter on. It was running for a couple hours. They turned it off, went in the pool. They swam for a little while. And then... Um, I heard this noise, and the guy behind me has a hot tub that he, he's always draining the water out. I don't know, it's just, he just always refilling the water in there. And I heard the water running, and I just assumed it was him with the hose because the, the sewer is in my backyard, so he usually runs a hose to the sewer under the fence, and then, like I said, it'll go right into the, into the uh, sewer. And I heard the noise, and I just thought that he was emptying his, his pool, or his hot tub once again. And then uh, Emily next door comes over, and... She's over there. And she comes over and she said, did you know that there's water coming out of your filter? And, oh no, my filter was exploding water everywhere. And that's an outside job. We, Jim and I, have our definition of our jobs. And anything in the house is a Sandy job. Anything outside of the house is a Jim job. And Jim never goes in the pool. Very rarely. I can count on this hand how many times Jim's gone in the pool. Because he's just not, he's not a... Uh, he doesn't like going in the water. and uh, But he always does the pool. He, he hooks up the filter. He takes the filter out. He cleans the filter. Anything to do with the filter, he takes care of it. And it wasn't until I went over there and seen all the water pouring out that I realized I don't know a damn thing about that filter. <laughs> Not one little iota of that thing with that filter. And so I did know that there's valves to shut the water off. I didn't know that much. I didn't realize that there was four valves. I only shut off three valves. And uh, I couldn't figure out why the water kept coming out and coming out and coming out. And then I couldn't get the lid back. What happened, the lid had popped off. And I couldn't get the lid to go back on because I couldn't get it completely off because of the water. And then Jason next door, over that way, uh, he saw me struggling. So he came over and we got the lid off. But then we couldn't get the lid back on and we couldn't get the water to stop running. And um, so I called Jim in South Dakota or North Dakota, wherever the heck he is. And uh, he did not answer. Jim's terrible. He never has his phone with him. He never answers his phone when you call him. So um, I, I couldn't get a hold of him. So I called Jimmy, who was leaving work anyhow because he's uh, going to the dentist this afternoon. And um, so he said he'd stop by on his way home from work. And we determined that it's a broken part, and he couldn't get the top off of the part. But we and we were trying to figure it out, and he couldn't figure it out. We, he was checking the same things, and then Denise came over because I had Kylie, and then she said, "Aren't you supposed to turn this valve off too?" And she turned the valve off, and the water stopped flowing. So now, and so then I called a pool shop to see if they could send somebody out, which was going to cost me probably an arm and a leg to have somebody come to the house to fix the filter because Jimmy couldn't figure it because the one part had broke. And we can't get it off. And he was afraid he's going to break the other part. And uh, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And so I left my phone number with them. And they haven't called me back. And it's 20 after 4. And I called them like at 11 o'clock this morning. But in the meantime, Denise has a friend whose husband works on filters. And he's working today. But he said he'd come over tomorrow. So hopefully he'll get it fixed. But every time Jim goes on vacation, something breaks. And then it's like a joke. Because, you know, like... He'll always call, he'll call and he'll say, okay, would you break now? Because something always breaks. Last year, it was the, um, something with the wiring for our smoke detector. All my smoke detectors kept going off. Of course, not during the day, in the nighttime when I was asleep. So I had to listen to the bing, bing, for the next couple hours because I wasn't going to call anybody to wake them up and come over here at that time of the night. 
So I, whatever. It's always something. It's always, always something. So anyway, um, Cindy's picking this up, and I'm going to have her again tonight because she's going to play Bunko. And then I have Kylie because Denise is going out with her couple's dinner. So I was going to go to Kroger's and pick up a few things because I'm really low on stuff. And so I've been reading most of the afternoon. And I did find this article that I did want to share with you, and it's called Eight Healthy Mistakes That You Might Be Eating. Eight healthy eating mistakes that you might be making. And um, they, they started off with, you know what makes you sad when you think you're eating something really healthy and you neglected to check the label because you were seduced by some slickly packaged product. And I agree with that. So the number one thing that you need to be checking is that a whole grain is actually a whole grain. Unfortunately, whole grain labels often require a decoder. If an item says made with whole grains... That can mean that it's 1% whole grain and the rest is a nutrient stripped refined grain. So you want to look for ingredients that are described as a whole grain at the top of the ingredient list. And I've fallen into that trap myself. The number two thing is opting for a fat version that have sneaky ingredients. When choosing between a normal something and its low fat cousin, Sometimes you app for the low fat version, but if you fall into this, make sure you check the label to see if the fat has been replaced with a lot of added sugar or artificial ingredients to add, add it to mimic the fatty mouthful that you usually have. Um, so a little healthy fat is better for most of us than a bunch of sugar and a handful of synthetic ingredients. I agree with that completely. Number three, thinking all nuts Thinking all nut milks are a healthy option. I've never had the, uh, I know that a lot of people drink the coconut milk and the almond milk. I've never tasted it, so I don't know what it tastes like. But they say the explosion of non-dairy milks has been wonderful people for wonderful for people to choose to cut out their dairy, the cows, and the planet. Thank you. But unfortunately, many a non-dairy milk is loaded with sugar, oil, and a whole list of stabilizers, thickeners, and emulsifiers to give it that milky texture. Aim to consume products with the simplest ingredient list or make your own. I don't know. There's a recipe here, but I'm not, I don't know. I don't know how about it is. Number four is eating just the egg whites. At some point, eating the egg whites became all the fad. Fear of cholesterol and, cholesterol, fear of cholesterol and calories led people to shun the yolk, which is a shame. You know what? The yolk is my favorite part of the egg. Um, the yolk contains a fair share of the egg's calories, but, and only half of it is protein. So it's chock full of essential minerals, vitamins, and other nutrients, including um, the natural, sorry, I had to answer that. Um, anyway, it was saying that the, it's chock full of essential minerals, vitamins, and other nutrients, including the naturally occurring carotenoid lutein, which helps play a role in your healthy eye. And what about the cholesterol? Yeah, you were led astray. Now it is thought that eating cholesterol does not, not add to our cholesterol levels. Even a report on the U.S. Dietary Guidelines say it's okay, stating that available evidence shows no appreciable relationship between consumption of dietary cholesterol and serum cholesterol. Cholesterol is not a nutrient of concern for overconsumption. Number five is eating junk yogurt that cancels out the good. Eating yogurt is great in its best form. Good selections are packed with protein and pro probiotics with a, without a lot of added sugar and artificial ingredients. But like most foods, there are junk food versions that are frighteningly high in added sugar in a laboratory full of unnatural colors and flavors. And some don't even have the live cultures that you need to make, a lot, uh, to make yogurt. So you want to check the label for low sugar content and ingredients you recognize as coming from a natural living culture culture. Uh, number six is going vegan and eating too many processed foods. Here's a rookie vegan mistake that a lot of plant-based eaters have made. Swapping out animal products with animal product, pretending things that are basically just vegan junk food. Um, but beware of things like vegan hot dogs that are plant-based chemical tubes. Read the labels and note the things that look familiar and the things that look like one needs a chemistry degree a chemistry degree to decipher, avoid. Number seven, and I've fallen into this trap myself, convincing yourself that a salad is always your best choice. 
I wouldn't be the first person to caution eaters to be, beware salads bearing fried chicken, candied nuts, cheese, and gobs of creamy dressing. Just because something is called a salad and has greens somewhere in it does not always mean it's a healthy choice. Some menus have salads with more calories than a, than a regular entree. And if a person is trying to eat a lower calorie, low fat meal, they should try, not try to convince themselves that the salad is the good choice. Um, having a meal with a bowl of leafy greens as a base is better than a meal with white pasta as a base. Just be careful of what you're adding to the salad. And number eight, drinking a lot of the fancy fresh juices. Even though they can be very seductive and delicious as a fresh juice always is, but it's not the same as eating the whole fruit. And in fact, fruit juice may pose even more health risks. Um, you need to remember that when you break a uh, fruit down, it's you're losing a lot of the nutrients and you don't want to do that. So if you want to think about fresh juice, a single ounce of single 16 ounce serving of cold pressed I don't understand this. The other things about the other thing about French juice, a single 16 ounce servings of cold pressed, for example, generates an average of four and a half pounds of perfectly edible food waste. I don't understand that, but I, yet I told you. <laughs> so uh, those are eight things that we need to remember when we're um, making choices, and we want to think we're making healthy choices, and. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to show you my breakfast. Uh, I think I'm just going to have a tuna sandwich and um, some cottage cheese for my dinner, maybe a tomato and some cucumber, and see how tomorrow goes. I got on the scale this morning, and I still, I'm still up a pound. So we'll see. We'll see how tomorrow goes. I usually don't get on the scale during the week, you know that, but um, I, 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 for some reason I'm on the scale this week. And next, I'm going to have a good weekend because next week I know I'm going to choose wisely and I'm going to have whatever I want to have within reason. So, okay, um, I gotta go to Kroger's now. Let's go kroger -ing. Okay, let's eat breakfast. Uh, I started my day with a prayer. I drank 50 ounces of water. My quote is, all of our dreams can come true if we just have the courage to pursue them. I'm gonna try to eat some points today because um, I find that not eating on Friday is not helping me out. So it's six points for my Lunders Plain Bagel, one point for my Laughing Cow Cream Cheese, and zero for my Egg Berries, Banana, Grapefruit Tea, and Water. So seven point breakfast. So I still have 17 points left for my dinner. Bubba Drake. Okay, I'm gonna eat my dinner. I have three points for my quarter cup of, half a cup of cottage cheese, one point for my Extreme Wellness Wrap, zero for my tuna, celery, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, tea, and water. Four point meal, it. 13 points. And there's my meal. Oh. And the girls are eating McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, the girls are in the pool, and a funny moment for me. Uh, I thought the boy next door on that side, not that side, but that side, uh, started taking clarinet lessons, and so I kept hearing the same old doo -doo 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 you know, like a scale, like they were doing the scales. So the whole time I'm eating my dinner, I keep hearing this. And it went on for like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that. And I thought, oh my gosh, when is he going to be done? And he's such a nice young man. <laughs> but I thought, oh, now you're going to take the clarinet, you know, whatever. And uh, he just kept it up and kept it up. Denise got here um, just to check on Kylie. And I said, is that Aiden playing the clarinet? And she says, yeah, I hear it, but I didn't see him out there playing. I said, no, I think he's in his room, you know, playing it. But whatever. And so she left. And so when I got up to put my dishes in the sink to clean them, and I walked by the iPad, Alyssa left the iPad on one of her games, and it was just going. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> it's a good thing I went that way, because if I would have went that way, I would have just still thought it was him outside. It was. It was starting to drive me crazy. Okay, that's it for now. I will see you in the morning. I'm hoping I have at least stay the same, and if I have a gain, not too big of a gain, but. Uh, I'm going to eat better this weekend and um, not deprive myself during the week next week. So I will see you guys in the morning.